Everyone with a skill has tools. Chefs have their knives, photographers have their lenses, programmers have their keyboards, carpenters have their hammers, and the list really just goes on. Well, I wanted a second compass, and I mean the drafting instrument, not the navigation tool. A good compass isn't just for circles, I also use it for quick measurements and correct proportions. But I didn't want something brand new. There's something special about old tools. Oftentimes they tend to be of remarkable quality, and if you take the time to clean up an old tool, it's a great way to reduce waste. I had no luck finding anything at local thrift stores, and all the antique stores have been closed due to COVID, but luckily there are places like eBay, and there is no lack of antique instruments on eBay. You might be really surprised by what you're able to find just simply by searching something like old compass or old pencil. You can certainly search for terms like antique or even retro, but see what comes up and don't be afraid to fix or clean an item. It's usually a lot easier than you think, and if you don't know how to go about it, somebody you know probably does, and there's always the internet to ask. So I managed to find a compass from the Eagle Pencil Company out of New York, stamped 1894. And you know, I got pretty lucky. It's actually in good shape and it's beautiful. The location, the date, and the model number are all clearly marked. It's really easy to read. And across the body, there's some light surface rust and a good deal of tarnish. But tarnishing will happen just from use. All of this is really easy to clean up. Once I cut off the tape, it kind of reveals a decent amount of surface rust on these ends, but that's not difficult to take off. This compass is nice and heavy, and it's just a work of art itself. It's a little easier to be creative when your tools are also inspiring. This compass is somewhere around 120 to 125 years old, and as long as I maintain it, it will last me a lifetime. Another unique aspect about this compass is if you pull out one of the ends, it actually holds pencil lead. And if you pull out the other end, it's actually a fountain pen tip. If you've never used a fountain pen, they're actually pretty fantastic and I'll show you why. But first, I gotta get this rust and tarnish off of this thing. The tarnish isn't that big of a deal, but the surface rust is. Because this is in relatively good shape, I didn't need to use power tools for it. And this will show you that you don't have to have special tools all the time just to clean something up. I started by using a soft toothbrush and some dish soap, and then I grabbed a soft, brass wired brush and just a little bit of barkeeper's friend and I was able to scrub off all of the surface rust. And no damage done to the body and I thoroughly dried all of the pieces and let it set overnight and then in the morning I put it all back together and it's ready to go.
fountain and dip pens, because this is technically a dip pen, will always amaze me. There's a precise and sharp elegance to the way that it writes that makes this instrument particularly unique. I'm really happy to be able to add this to my collection of art tools. If you've enjoyed this and you want to see more weird and unique art stuff, consider subscribing. There's more on the way.